Hey guys, it's Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to play The Sims 4 and play around with a feature of the Discover University pack that I haven't really experimented too much with, and that's roommates. So, I want to start a new series where we set up a boarding house for the university students to live with when they're away from home. So, I'm just gonna um, set up my sim and the boarding house uh, in this video, and then we'll start the actual gameplay in the next video. So here I just uh, randomized my sim, I'm not too picky on what she looks like, and this is going to be Joyce Wing. Now since she's living with so many people, I thought a popularity aspiration would be well fitting. I did want her to be neat, because I don't want to be after her all the time for cleaning up the house, she should just go do it on her own. Um, I'm sure she'll want to do other things besides, uh, like she won't have a career or anything. So I thought a bookworm would be a good trait. And I think the other one I picked was outgoing. Again, it fits well with so many people in the house. Now I did uh, pick a house in the neighborhood of the universities. Uh, but the only kind of small house that they had was uh, one with a lot on it, or with a house of it on it already. So I bulldozed that and I'm just starting out with... Uh, laying out the kitchen, I'm not sure how big uh, the house that I want will be. So I thought I'd lay out some basics. Uh, I am starting her with the usual $20,000. So we do need to be mindful, especially since like just walls are really expensive. So I wanted to be pretty mindful of that. So here we have a small kitchen, but it has a fridge, a stove, some countertops. Uh, I realized afterwards that I forgot a sink. So they're just going to have to live without that for now because I ran out of money. So the downstairs will be kind of the living room, maybe some common area. And then upstairs, um, I wanted to set up the actual students. And I thought that four beds would be a good starting number. And then as we make more money, we can kind of expand it. Um, I think that the maximum that you're allowed to have is 10, including your own sim. So, eventually, I'd like to expand it that way. And I'm going to try and make this house, like, pretty nice looking for them. Um, I thought it would be nice to have, like, to provide each of them a bed and a table so that they could do their homework or put the laptop or whatever. Um, I'm not sure. I had to put move objects on on this, so I'm not sure how well it will work. We're going to have to see that during gameplay, and if it doesn't work out, we might just have to get rid of them. So here, I've actually managed to get uh, two bedrooms with two beds each, so that's four, in a pretty tight space. Um, but the problem is that that's four people, and we don't have any bathrooms yet. And we don't really have a lot of space for bathrooms. So I thought I would do a shower on one side, and kind of a toilet on the other side. Um, with the idea that that way, at least separate people can use them. So you can have one person in the toilet, one person taking a shower um, at the same time. I did realize later that I would actually uh, have more space to work uh, with then on this because I want the university students to basically stay upstairs. But, um, oh gosh, I forgot her name already. Um, my sim uh, will have kind of a downstairs master suite and I want to make her place a little bit nicer because it's her place. Um, so when I expanded the lower floor, I ended up with more space upstairs. Uh, but that's okay. It gave me a little bit more space to add some bathrooms. Um, again, I wanted to make it pretty nice, and I love this wood floor. I love, like, the really cool tone, very modern vibe of it. Uh, and at the same time, it's wood, so it's kind of warm at the same time, even though the color is pretty gray. And I thought uh, having the outside walls as brick would look really nice, and the inside would be drywall and just a very neutral color, uh, just kind of this uh, cooler beige color. I really like that combination. I think it makes the house look super nice and chic. And then I love this balcony too. It's so pretty. Um, so again, I don't want anybody to be complaining that the walls aren't painted or anything like that. So I really tried to decorate everything so that those uh, borders won't complain about anything. And I thought it might be nice to get each of them some sort of like wall decoration or something. So I was kind of playing around with these to see what I could 
ad. In the end, I think I had to get rid of all of them because I ran out of money and I thought other things were a bigger priority. Uh, but I think we will try and add more back as we get more money. And already each room has a light, uh, which is pretty nice. And I like the look of that light too. It's quite bright and it's kind of modern looking. And for sure it goes on the wall because we do not have that much space. I'm really trying to limit the space on this build. And right now we have four beds and the main sim. Uh, so I tried to get five couches in there so that they can all sit around and watch TV together, do a little bonding. And now I'm just setting up, uh, like I said, the master suite at the back. Uh, so for now, it's not going to be super chic. It's going to be pretty small, very basic stuff. Uh, because I do want to put in more money just to like fit in more borders. As opposed to like the comfort items for her right now. But uh, we'll probably upgrade later. So yeah, she's just going to have a little suite at the back there. Um, and then I thought for sure we want like a TV for them. Um, I guess the wall mounted TVs are pretty expensive. So I just took a cheaper TV and like made it a little bit bigger and just uh, put it right up against the wall. And I think that should work. It looks not too bad. So I was just kind of checking that. Yeah, I, uh, I'm liking the look so far. Clean up uh, some of my edges that I didn't notice. Okay, and then I just kind of brought her over here to make sure that all the beds and stuff were usable. Okay, so she can use that chair. She can use the bed. But, okay, she, she can use this chair. She can use this chair. Good. Just because I am using that kind of move objects cheat, I didn't want to, like, I want to make sure that it actually works. And that's when I realized, oh, yeah, I expanded downstairs. So that means I have a little bit of more space to work on upstairs. So um, I decided to kind of subdivide it and just have, like, more tiny little bathrooms everywhere. And I thought I would standardize the room as well because the room that was more to the front was kind of tight and I was a bit worried about it so I thought I'd give them a little bit more room since we had it. So here's this little uh, toilet and sink and a mirror and then I was going to make uh, basically another toilet on that side and I think I ended up fitting in like two more toilets and a, and a shower. But actually, again, I ran out of money so I kind of laid out the layout of these bathrooms but I didn't actually have money to fill them yet so they'll have to live with one set of bathrooms for now um, at least she has her own bathroom um, but I am going to lock them out of the main floor one and uh, they'll have to use the ones upstairs but I think that's fine for now uh, hopefully they won't be at home all of the time and there won't be a big fight for bathrooms and eventually I will kind of expand it so yeah, just making sure that all the walls were appropriately painted, even the upstairs. Um, you can kind of see that <laughs> I uh, had some, like this is not exactly a complete uh, wall. We're missing a couple of walls. Uh, my intention for that initially was just to let in a bit of sunlight so that when I was building it until I got my lights in, I could see. Uh, but then I kind of got to the end and I ran out of money again. You can see a theme here. Um, I ran out of money to finish the build. So again, we're going to have to wait till more money comes in so that I can finish off those couple of walls. But I think it's okay. Like, it's only the hallway and stuff that's exposed. The bathrooms and the bedrooms are okay. So I think that should be fine. It could be considered a design element. So yeah, I started like swapping stuff out. Then I realized that because I actually had to go and try stuff out, um... Some of the stuff was already like devaluing. So I didn't want to kind of trade uh, some of the more expensive items for cheaper items because we would have lost money already. So I guess I really shouldn't have had let her uh, test out all the, the beds and stuff until later. So yeah, from this point on, I was kind of stuck with a lot of the items that I already had. Yeah, here's where I was thinking to like complete the build, but I really couldn't. Um, one thing I do want to do later on, I reserve kind of the right side. Um, I intend to add kind of like a study area. I thought that might be nice with a bunch of bookshelves and maybe some computers and stuff for the students to use. Uh, but again, obviously, I don't have enough money right now. But that'll be definitely an addition that I want to make later. And that will also expand the second floor so we can add more beds. 
Uh, probably not up to the maximum of 10. We might need to go to a third floor for that. Um, but we will do that. And this is pretty much the finished build. I do think it looks really nice. Not like a cheap, you know, gross old boarding house at all. It's kind of like chic and nice. So I think hopefully they'll be happy to live here. <laughs> We're going to see. And that is the end of my build. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a like. It would mean so much to me. And if you want to see how well my boarding house goes, or how not well, uh, then make sure to subscribe to my channel to make sure you catch the next video. And I'll catch you next time. Bye!